Look at that. Y'all know what I'm gonna do, right? I have to. anybody down here i'm down here at my local river i'm looking for some red horse suckers friday saturday and sunday 30 mile an hour winds gust of up to 30 mile an hour it's hard to throw a cast net on a friday a day before a tournament with 30 mile an hour winds i'm good but i don't know how good so I'm going to test the water, see if I can find any red horse down here. Um, looks like storms and stuff are all around us, hit and miss rain. But I'm just going to use, guys, just regular little old bluegill hook, a couple split shot sinkers. And I dug some red worms and a couple night crawlers up out of my yard. You know, it's uh, March 2nd, 3rd, something like that. Um, I've only ever found them down here in grouped together in a mass quantity one time so i'm gonna try to find them for a second time but i can find them i found them hit and miss depending on how much rain we get tonight if the water doesn't come up tonight i'll be able to you know beat the river up and get some bait but we got a, a tournament we're fishing saturday for a feller that came down with uh leukemia and it's a benefit tournament and we're going to do our best to put on a good showing. So I'm getting started early. Today's Tuesday. One hurt on to be pros for three or four days in a vacuum seal bag. I did it a lot. So let's go catch some bait. Let's see what's happening. Or let's see what's happening. I can't even talk anymore. That's aggravating. All right, close enough. You know what? Y'all get the picture. Let's go All right, it. guys. Maybe you can hear me. Maybe you can't. If not, I'll figure it out. I'm just fishing our dam. Sometimes in the spring, if you can catch them, red horse suckers congregate in here. They're old sucker fish. And uh, I would really like to have some, you know. Half a dozen would be great. And usually this time of year when you get into them, they're great big mammies, big females. I've also got kind of a headache going on. I took some, uh, Tylenol and ibuprofen, and um, I think it's a change in the weather. It messes me up, but I've got ear problems anyways. I mean, it messes with me when storms come around. Uh, I've had both my eardrums perforated in Afghanistan, and uh, yeah, so it, it kind of wreaks havoc on me. Enough about me. Let's uh, let's see if they're in here. I'm sure we'll find something somewhere if the rain will hold off long enough. Throw it out there and see. My little ultralight pole, I love this dude. I see minnows jumping. Go out right there and work it back to you real slow. Like I say, I can't guarantee you they're gonna be here, guys. There was a bite. I'll let him run with it. See what it is. That was definitely a bite. Stupid logs in the way. 
Now there'll be kids this spring climbing up on that. Hopefully it don't roll over on them. I'm seeing all kind of shiners down there. Small mouth will move in there before too long. You can catch them one right after the other. Just as hard as you can go. I have to look behind me, see if there's anybody. I don't like talking to the camera when people are around. Hung up. And somebody's fishing line, probably. There I came loose. They're here somewhere, I just don't know where. All kinds of minnows, so I'm telling you guys, in the next month, you'll be able to come down here for a couple weeks straight and just beat the smallmouth to death. That was a bite. Something. What did we catch? A little pumpkin seed. Well, if we don't catch bait, at least we'll have fun. But I've got other tricks up my sleeve. Seem to uh, found some fish, guys. That's a little bitty, some kind of sucker. But I'm going to tell you right now. I will take those and I will freeze him and I will call him mine because those are good catfish bait too. Clean my bucket out here a little bit. Jeez, dude. Did you have to do all that? Well, he ain't gonna live, that's a fact. But he will be used for bait. Jump down there beating up on him. Look at that rod tip. It ain't a very big hook. I'm trying to let him swallow. Oh, are you serious? Come back out there. All right, guys. So I had a crawl dead on that hook. The night crawler was up top of the crawl dead. So check that out. He went after a crawl dead, guys. He ain't even big enough to swallow it. That's insane. I ain't never in my life. Crazy. He ate a crawdad. Now the only thing I can think of is the crawdad came off and he went after the red worm. That's crazy. I'm gonna leave it like that. Try it again. Yank him right out of the water. Ain't that something? Got him. Got him. What we get? Little chub. He had that thing in gold.
right, guys. It's starting to rain. And I don't know if this thing's waterproof or not. I haven't read anything about it. So, kind of just wanted to test the waters. Caught some fish, caught a couple different species, mostly big creek chubs. Uh, they're great catfish bait, but I'm not messing with them today. Uh, this hill is huge that I just walked up. I'm out of breath. Look, the lilies are starting to come out. It's gonna be long, guys. It's gonna be fishing time. It's all right, man. Man, girls, guys, constituents. That's the end of this video. Just wanna do some micro fishing, hoping to catch some red horse suckers. Turned into a red horse sucker trip. Then it just turned into a micro fishing trip. So, guys, I love y'all. If y'all want it, you gotta go get it. Nobody's gonna give it to you. Just go get it. Enjoy yourselves and be safe doing this. Y'all know where the spot's at? Come fish her. Gets fished out every year, so get it while you can. I love y'all. Be safe.